Hey everybody, this is Halftime with Rick Ebner. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you like this channel, please like us. If you don't like it, please like us. This is my second time doing this and I'm just as nervous as the first time. So um, thank you for being patient. Can't wait to jump into things here. What I'm gonna talk a little bit about today is about how after time our circle of friends seems to get smaller and it can happen over time or it can happen right away but you know what we can have control over that being you know homebound pretty much I mean I get out and do things but what I do now is I made adjustments to my home so I can welcome people to my home I, I have a patio in the front yard now so I can have people come and have a fire pit and join me and I don't have to worry about if I can fit into their home, if I can get up their ramps. I can now invite people to my home and we can have a great time. Well, what people need to know about people living with MS is everyone's different. You know, it's like a snowflake. Every snowflake is different. Every case with MS is totally different. My sister Amy, uh, she was five years older than me. She had MS for roughly around the same amount of time. Her symptoms were totally different. You know, I, I spend my time with people that help build me up. I can't afford to be around negative Nellies. My, my, that, that is precious to me. I need people that are gonna help build me up and not bring me down because MS and any kind of chronic disease is really driven by your emotions and how you're doing on the inside. And if you don't feel good on the inside and feel good about yourself and you're bringing outsiders in and they're not going to help support you, you have to cut ties. You have to let go of some people that just don't bring you up. Well, you know, when I, when I get negative news, whatever it may be, about the, the riots, things that are going on in society, I just know that for me, you know, we've won the war. It's these daily battles that we've got to deal with. And we've got to be kind to one another. Um, that's what I feel is missing in this world is kindness and love and helping one another. And it's too, too much about me. And I think if we extend a hand uh, to other people, we're going to go a long way. Well, first of all, a relationship can begin anytime. You know, for example, I'm in my, in my power chair and I consider this a platform for me. Say I'm leaving the grocery store. Someone opens the door for me. I get to say, God bless you, you're my second angel of the day. I just made a huge impact on that person. And I'm looking right in their eyes and I'm smiling and I'm sincerely, genuinely mean this to them. And it's so fun to see the responses that I get from people. They don't know what to do. Um, but I'm genuinely kind back to these people when they do a kind act towards me. That might be the nicest thing that person hears that day. So I know I'm going to make a difference in other people's lives because I made that decision in my mind and in my heart. 